today our topic of discussion is calorific value and determination of calorific value of a solid fuel using bomb calorimeter in this topic we will cover what is gross calorific value and net calorific value and also determination of calorific value of a solid fuel using bomb calorimeter what is gross calorific value it is defined as the amount of heat liberated when unit quantity that is 1 kg or 1 m3 of fuel is completely burned in air or oxygen and products of combustion are cooled at room temperature what is net calorific value it is defined as the amount of heat released when unit quantity of fuel is completely burned in a air or oxygen and the products of combustion are let off into atmosphere the calorific value unit in solid is joule per kilogram for gaseous fuel it is expressed in joule per meter cube next move on to the determination of calorific value of a solid fuel using bomb calorimeter principle is a non mass of a solid sample is burned in excess oxygen the surrounding water and calorimeter absorb the heat liberated thus the heat liberated by the fuel is equally to the heat absorbed by the water and the calorimeter next move on to the construction in this picture we can see the bomb calorimeter consists of a stainless steel vessel with an air tight lid this vessel is called bomb the bomb has an inlet valve for providing oxygen atmosphere inside the bomb and the electrical ignition coil for starting of combustion of fuel the bomb is placed in an insulated copper calorimeter the calorimeter has mechanical stirrer for dissipation of heat and thermometer for reading the temperature next move on to the working a non mass of a solid fuel is placed in a crucible the crucible is placed inside the bomb the lid is closed tightly the bomb is placed inside the copper calorimeter a non mass of a water is taken in the calorimeter the bomb is filled with oxygen at the pressure of 25 to 30 atmosphere the temperature t1 in the thermometer is noted on passing an electric current through ignition coil the fuel get ignited the fuel burns liberated heat the water is continuously stirred using stirrer the maximum temperature attained by the water t2 is noted through observation and calculation we have the calculated formula for gross calorific value the gross calorific value that is gcv equal to w1 plus w2 into s into delta t divided by m kilojoule per kilogram were w equal to w1 plus w2 that's equal to mass of water in calorie meter in kilogram plus water equivalent of calorie meter in kilogram s is specific heat of water in kilo joule per kilogram per degree celsius delta t equal to t2 minus t1 that's equal to rise in temperature in degree celsius m is mass of fuel in kilogram we have second formula that is calculation formula for net calorific value the net calorific value that is ncv equal to gcv minus 0.09 into percentage of heat into latent heat of steam so ncv equal to gcv minus 0.09 into percentage heat into 2454 into 10 raised to 3 kilo joule per kilogram This is regarding to calorific value and determination of calorific value for solid fuel using bomb calorimeter. I hope you all are clear with this topic. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magus videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.in.